Right, here's a quick overview of XN Viewer MP, a free image viewer, organizer, and to some extent, editor as well. As you'll see immediately in this layout, on the left hand side, you get the normal look of your hard drive. You can choose which folder you want to look at. That's quite normal in image viewers. What's better in this program is you can actually set folders as favorites. So here's four folders I use on my computer quite regularly and they are down as favorite folders. Saves me uh, navigating all the way through my hard drives when I want to find a particular folder. So we're on personal pictures and if you look in the main window you can see that lists the folders in my personal pictures section. I'll go into one of the folders. Don't suppose it matters which. Well, let's go into this first one here. Um, thumbnails, information. You can change what information is shown on there. You can just have the thumbnails like that if you want. Thumbnail and file name, thumbnail and labels, there's a few other options. You can also very quickly change the size of the thumbnails to one which suits what you're doing. So, you can see immediately how you can use this to organize your photographs, craft papers, whatever. The really powerful thing is in its sorting. You may be able to see down here you can put each of these images into a category and in the category manager on the bottom right you can add or in fact delete categories as well so this picture here I would put in as a family photograph and same with this one family photograph and this one a family photographs that's just one way of classifying them. If you look up here, that one's just a tick box, but here I can give the image a rating from one poor or unrated, poor, fair, average, good, excellent. And I can give it a label, important work, personal to do and later. I do mark quite a few to do as I go through and I've uploaded some new images thinking, oh, I will have a look at that one or I need to have a look at that one later I will mark it to do so obviously if you're marking them let's just mark that one as to do if you're marking them you want to sort by them as well so if I go over to the categories filter on the left hand side um, categories at the bottom here and I've got seven pictures there marked as family ones and they come from all folders all over the computer and again I can see ones I've marked as to do and again those come from folders all over the computer and the same would be for rating I tend not to use rating much but do if you want in addition to that and I'm going to go back to my favorites folder there you can put in filters and you can have more than one filter so you could have to do pictures which are also marked as average good or excellent so you can have multiple layers of sorting sounds complicated but you'll get used to it and it's ever so useful when you do get used to it should just note that the folder view and we are back to folder view does give an overall impression of what's in the folder as well so you don't have to dive into every folder more often than not you can tell just from this view what's in them and while we're at it I did say this program does do a little bit of editing as well it can do quite a lot of editing um, let's just go flick back and uh, 
find an image to edit these look like flowers so we'll double click and that opens the image itself and you'll find some tools up here where you can rotate it mirror it uh, play around with the colors there extract channels don't worry about that too much um, the important things are probably this map and adjust map has some automatic levels so automatic color levels there and map automatic contrast level slight improvements on the uh, quality there and you can adjust other things and you'll find a nice lot of sliders here brightness probably too bright contrast gamma increase the reds whoa yeah okay maybe you shouldn't let me near these things um I mean, I'll, I'll set them all back where they should be again hopefully there we go so you can do a basic amount of editing there's also tools for for cropping and resizing and things of that sort and i'll close that now without saving it and you will find more options when you right click a photographers amongst you will probably like to know you can add keywords captions in the xmp information special instructions and credits and not forgetting copyright so there's a lot you can use this program to do but i use it and i really highly recommend it for organizing your pictures i will just mention that i haven't gone through everything it will convert pictures um, into different formats it will batch convert pictures it will even capture off your screen so give it a shot it's free to download we didn't have any trouble and i have down re-downloaded it on a new computer recently no virus no malware no adverts just a really good program for helping you organize your images i hope you enjoy it please have a look at some of our other other reviews bye bye